Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So this is an overview of what's coming in for October. So it is for Twin Flames, but it's general too. It's the energy of what's coming in, the shifts and changes. And if I could give you one word for this month, it would be movement. So much change, so much power, so much speed. You're going to start seeing things happening, things changing. Because we're in a new decade and that means that things are starting to align. Great change is coming in. So a lot of power. So thank you for being here. And if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So to do this reading, this overview of what October holds, I'm going to use the calendar that I use for my daily readings. This is the Hey House, I Can Do It calendar. There's a month overview and I want to read you what that says and then I'm going to put my spin on it with the angels intuitively. I'm also going to use the Archangel Michael cards to bring a message in from him and I'm going to use the Major Arcana of the Gilded Tarot. So let's do this then. So we're going to start with the shuffling because every day I'm shuffling. So thank you, Archangel Michael. What does October hold? What does October have in store for everyone on this journey? What do we need to know? What does October hold, please, angels? Wow, look at that. Amazing. Okay. So let's start then with this message from the calendar. So this month, take the time to truly nourish yourself. Remember that what goes into your body affects your brain. So make the best food choices possible. So the angels are showing you here that this month, what you're putting into your body is really important because it makes you who you are. It's really important as we move into the colder weather and into this season that we're looking at after ourselves that we're boosting our immune system especially with this pandemic and you know this threat of a second wave and further lockdowns and all these things going on the angels are reminding you to look after yourself to make sure you're nourishing yourself with good food to make sure that you're drinking enough water that you're sleeping well and that you're looking after you which means if you're getting stressed or anxious you take control and you say I'm not going to put my mind my focus or my energy on anything that's dragging me down and you understand this month that you are surrounded by angels that you have an army of angels right by your side waiting to assist you to enhance your life to help you to guide you and to keep you safe so that as soon as you start struggling or worrying about something you give it to heaven and you relax and breathe. And it's really important that as we move forward in October, and as we continue to move forward towards the new year, that we don't take things personally. Because there's a lot of trigger energy around, because there's so much change going on. There's so many new beginnings, and change, it's powerful, but it also creates stress, because we crave change as a soul having a human experience, we crave change. But as a human being, we loathe it because it means that we're being ripped out of our comfort zone and it means we have to, you know, do something about our lives. And we're in a new decade. And as we're shifting into October, you're seeing results of your, you know, your manifestations, your intentions. Things are starting to fall into place. So there's a lot of movement. So there's going to be a lot of house moves in October. There's going to be a lot of karmic relationships breaking down in October. A lot of job changes in October. So there's going to be lots of changes, which brings with it opportunities to heal from what's triggering you. Because change will trigger, it will trigger emotion and energy. You know, when you change your, you know, your life, but when you change your job, your home, your location or your relationship, it brings with it stress because you're changing something to bring in something else. You're moving things around, so you have to breathe. So a big message is make sure that you're looking after yourself physically, emotionally, and you're making sure then that you can handle anything that's thrown your way and don't take things personally. And try and simplify things in your life and in your mind. Try and lighten the load. So if you start getting stressed out on a change you're making, laugh about it. Keep things light-hearted. Don't be stressed or worried or 
you're anxious because you have the angels right by your side. I love to prepare meals that are nutritious and delicious. I eat mindfully and I do not multitask. So the angels are saying to you, you may feel the energy of wanting to look after yourself this month, even if you hate cooking, even if you hate it. Even if you have takeout all the time, you're going to feel the need to nourish yourself better, to buy more healthy food, to prepare more meals. You, you may find you more, you know, you're in the kitchen for longer. They show me visions of like hearty soups and broths and, you know, things that bring in that real feeling of comfort to us. So eat mindfully. You know, mindfully, you may be changing your diet. You may be moving away from toxic things, you know, like anything like caffeine-based or, you know, anything low energy. You may be cutting meat out of your diet. You may be releasing dairy or chocolate or things that just don't seem to be serving you right now. Eat mindfully and do not multitask, which means don't try and do a hundred things at once. Breathe and relax, especially in the kitchen. You know, if you're changing things around, you know, if you're moving house and you're changing your job, relax and breathe. The angels will help you to do things calmly. Archangel Metatron is going to help you to multitask because it's saying don't multitask, but Archangel Metatron is going to help you to get your priorities in order. I set a lovely table and I focus only on the sensory experience I am having. Every bite I take shows my body tender loving care and helps me create optimal health. So this is about being grateful for your food, you know, seeing food differently. So if you've had any issues with food, you know, if you're trying to diet or you want to change things about the way you eat or the way you see food, this is the greatest month to do it because the angels are saying to you, you know, see it as this beautiful sacred thing to be grateful for food, to be grateful for your home, to be grateful for time to spend nourishing your body and putting good food in there. You know, maybe you want to cook nice meals, you know, for your family. Maybe you can't do that right now because you're in lockdown or, you know, there's restrictions going on and we can't do the things we want to do. You know, we can't go out for a meal with enjoyment anymore. So do it at home. You know, make your home your loving environment. So nurture yourself. They're also showing me a table with things on that you love, things like candles, you know, maybe you've got an altar there, you've got some angels on there, or, you know, I've got a beautiful um, figure of Jesus that watches over me, you know, it lights up, it's really beautiful in the Sermon of the Mount. So the angels show me maybe get some sacred space, you know, and you're moving, you may be moving. And if you're not moving, you're moving things around because that's the energy of the month. You want to, it's movement. So you may be redecorating, you may be moving things around, furniture around, buying new things, getting ready for the winter period, getting ready for Christmas, for the new year, you know, celebrations. So October is a month of preparation preparing for what's to come. Thank you, angels. So they're saying you're preparing. So it's also a huge sign for twin flames that you're preparing for union. You know, in, in September, it was all about learning the lessons and understanding things on a very deep level. This is about action. Okay, October's about action. And that's what nourishment is. You know, you're taking action. You're nourishing this journey. You're preparing for what's to come. So the angels are showing you you're preparing for everything you desire. And all of the things you've been asking for are starting to show up in this powerful energy of October. Wow, look at this. We've got the high priestess and we've got the sun. So beautiful. So, so much happiness coming in in October, which is so welcomed after the year that we've had. You know, there's been so much pain and struggle around and all this painful energy, but we're moving out to the other side. And even if there's still things around that trigger you, you're learning now to not take things personal. You're learning to overcome. You're learning to have faith over fear. You're learning to trust your intuition and know that what you feel is what's real. To see past illusion. 
to see past the pain. You're learning to realise it doesn't matter what anyone thinks, it matters what you think. So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Trust your heart, go within. Ask yourself for the answers. So this is also a sign that you are ascending to the next stage of your life. And this is why in October, we're turning the page or we're opening a new chapter because we're moving forward to where we're meant to be. So it's like we're ascending to the next stage of our journey and there's so much happiness flowing in. So keep shining your light because you are like the sun. And when we move into the darker days, the darker nights ahead, when the seasons change, we have to be the light. Because if things are dark around us, we have to shine bright. So this is really signifying the twin flame journey, that the sun is the powerful energy and the warmth of the divine feminine, the divine feminine, leading the masculine forward, you know, tapping in with your intuition, trusting where you are, understanding the truth, keeping that fire and that light warm and that light burning. So you rise through any obstacles, you rise above any challenges, and you know that you are safe so beautiful so Archangel Michael is saying to you detach from the situation so again it's a, a month of energy of movement of change so detach from anything dragging you down raise your vibration know your worth know yourself know your power Archangel Michael I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut my attachments to fear or any drama surrounding me so that I may be centered in the knowingness that peace is everywhere it's within me and this situation so peace is everywhere you just have to look for it and Archangel Michael is going to give you the knowingness that everything is okay, that there's nothing to fear, that when you let go and breathe, you can do, be and have whatever you desire. So you're cutting attachments out. That means you're releasing. And with the energy of the full moon that's around right now, you are letting go. You are releasing. So you are detaching from the situation. That means you are letting go of struggles connected with your twin flame love, connected with fears about change. Anything you need to release is now going. And let go of fear now. I love this message. It's so beautiful. Let go of fear now. So Archangel Michael is saying to you, in the now, in this present moment where you are, there is nothing to fear. We only go into fear when we struggle with the past that we can't change or we worry about the future that we feel that we may not have control over or we worry about what's to come. But when you're in the now, you are safe and Archangel Michael has got you and he's opening up your third eye so you see the truth with the eyes of love so that you see with your psychic sight, your spiritual eyes over your physical eyes. So you step forward fearlessly, speaking your truth, being your authentic self, knowing yourself, standing in your power. Archangel Michael, thank you for helping me to feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic or ego-based thoughts or feelings. So Archangel Michael is helping you to release the fears and the ego. And the ego edges the goodness out. And Archangel Michael will edge it back in, which will help you to not get triggered easily and to not take things personally and to know that everything is an opportunity to learn and grow because there will be a favourable outcome. And we're still in the energy right now of Libra. And you can see you've got the scales there for balance. So Archangel Michael is assuring you of a favourable outcome. That means there's nothing to fear. That means everything you desire is on its way. It's already sorted out. It's just not quite there or ripe enough to take it off the tree. So you have to have faith. You have to trust. You have to believe. You have to know that all is well in your heart and your mind. Thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. 
Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me to trust and have faith. So Archangel Michael is going to help you to trust and have faith. And sometimes you may need to scream a bit. You know, I've just heard a scream outside. So it feels like scream and shout if you need to release energy. You know, if anything's pent up inside you, you have to release it out. You have to let it go. You know, and I know you've had screaming, you know, feelings like fits of rage over things that have hurt you, things that you feel like you can't control, but you're becoming more powerful because you're learning to take control. You're taking back your power, you're mastering your emotions, you're moving forward and you're believing now and trusting now the truth which is that God is in charge. That means there's nothing to fear because there is a divine plan behind everything. God is in charge. So this is a message about surrender and letting go, a message of faith and trust, a message of hope for you. And that's why you've got the powerful energy of the sun and this energy of the high priestess to keep your thoughts positive, to keep your thoughts uplifted, to follow your higher self. Dear God, please help me let go of this situation, giving it to faith and trust to your divine wisdom and your infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. So you're trusting that God and his mighty angels are going to resolve everything for you because a favorable outcome is assured. All you have to do is let go of the fear now and to know that you are safe and detach from the situation. And if you're a twin flame, if you watch the Find Your Way to Union series, the first card that comes out in that series in day one is God is in charge because the angels are saying to you, there's nothing to fear. There is a plan behind your life and everything that happens, but you have to learn and grow as you go. And you learn on this journey to trust and to lean on God and to lean on the angels for their support and to know that you are safe. Dear God and angels, I give you this situation now and completely, step by step. And I step out of the way and I allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved. So the angels are saying to you, when you let go of fear now, when you remain in this present moment, when you detach from drama and you trust that all is well, that you are safe, protected and that you are on the right path and when you lean on God and the angels, miracles will come in. So release any fears and allow these miracles to shine through and to show you the truth. Step out of the way because sometimes we get in our own way. We try and control everything and sort things out when all we have to do is release. All we have to do is surrender to step out of the way and let heaven take over because God is in charge and he just gave me fear there. So it may create fear to think that you've got to let go, but you're not letting go. You're just releasing the struggle. You're releasing the fear. You're detaching from the drama and you're trusting that everything is meant to be. So a month about movement and change. Change is coming in that will move you where you're meant to be. Changes that are divinely guided for your higher good. So let go and breathe opportunities coming in. And things can be blessings in disguise. So if one door shuts in your face, another one will open. Because God never closes a door without opening a window. And you'll look back in a year's time and bless everything that's happened to you. Because it's got you where you're meant to be. So this is a month of preparation. Preparation for union. Preparation for your life path, preparation for who you truly are, to become the greatest version of who you are. So stand in your power and feel it today because you have the power to change your life. And the way you change your life is by changing your perception, by understanding that you control your thoughts, you control your emotions and you control your life. So step out of the way, allow the angels to step in and know that you are safe. Have a great month, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.